Michaels there at center, and I think we are about to get this one underway. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Moves the puck. Breaks up the play with a puck check. Germany's across the blue line. Shot. Missed the net. Oh, that would have tied it right there. Well, it's a game of inches, isn't it, when you're trying to score? had the mentality just shoot it right away on the inside out of the post just recognizing that there was enough of an opening and I think that the goaltender thought it was covered. Germany's talked a lot about getting off to good starts and look at this case in point right here. Well yeah you get up by one goal early in the game and it just creates momentum all around your bench. Everyone gets on the ice they want to contribute they want to be the one to get the goal on the and continue to increase this lead. I think they've been real effective to start this game. Score! And that's back-to-back -back snipes! Well, it feels like there's a wave of momentum, and it has certainly changed here. You can get the opportunity, but you have to execute. That's two in a row. Well, that puck is on and off his stick in a hurry, and it needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beats the goaltender because it gets off his stick so fast. Lots of time left in this period. Germany's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Moves it to Fiala. Oh, what a hit against the boards! Executed perfectly, James. I mean, he can't maneuver. He's got nowhere to go. He's lined up, and then he's taken down. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They've got numbers. Stopped by the goaltender. And he makes that save as well. Deflected off someone in front. Works it across to Niederreiter. Switzerland's got the puck along the wall. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Oh, what a block. He'll get a pat on the back from the coach when he gets off, if he can get off. Puts it on net. Beautiful glove stop on that one. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Germany's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. Team Germany's got it, and they're on the attack. Oh, what a save on the play! Wow! Oh, that's Grand Larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save! As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out battle and out will his opponent to find the puck. Team Germany still got time here in this first period to increase this lead. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. We're gonna face off after the puck stays covered up. Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. Team Germany's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Morgan stick handling in his own zone. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Germany's got it across the line. Here's a shot. Blocked in traffic. Team Switzerland's got the puck in the defensive end. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Germany's got a hold of it against the wall. And he takes the pass. Delayed penalty coming up here. Quick whistle stops the play. Coaches are always telling you to finish your check, but that time just a little too over-aggressive and a lot of pressure along the wall. Switzerland's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. 
Well, first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Loses his balance on the play. He's got a step with the stop. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Well, that's going to be an interference call, and it's a deserved one. You can't impede the forward progress of your opponent, and that's what happens here. Special teams back out onto the ice, and it's a five-on-three man advantage as the puck gets set to be dropped. Oh, and that is a lot of time on a five-on-three. You have to have a sense of urgency here, though, because if you pop one by, you still have the man advantage. And he can't hang on after that hit. And he makes the save on that play. Let's it go! Long jam in front, that's broken up. Team Switzerland's through center and now in the offensive end. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Denies him again! Well, he has been under siege and I'm loving his complete scores! Well, putting the special in special teams, it's a power play tally! Well, it's all about specialty teams and it often makes a difference and right now there was pass execution and they found a way to attack the net. Power play strikes James, and that's excellent movement along the perimeter and just waiting for your time to get it to the middle of the ice and execute. That's a great slot shot. Switzerland's got to be feeling good after getting that one, Cheryl. Well, they're certainly feeling good about themselves now, James. The body language has changed. They're on their toes. The confidence is lifted. Some much-needed offense to get them within one. Takes a shot. Denies him in close. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. Sends a pass over. Germany's got the puck here in the open ice. Shot! And just got a piece of it to keep it out. Germany's on the attack. It's in the back of the net. One screen or one player in front, James, and he's got to do a good job of finding this puck. I mean, it just needs him clean. In the final moments of this period, Germany's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. And off the draw, they pick the puck. Team Germany's got the puck against the half wall. Stopped by the goaltender. A chance for the top. Big card save. Oh, my goodness. Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. Inside the offensive zone. period number two in moments. And we're about set to drop the puck here on period number two. It was quite 
the one-sided tilt in the first 20 minutes. Let's see if that continues here in the second. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Germany's mindset needs to say exactly the same as it was in the first period, James. They were intense, they were aggressive, they were hard on the puck, and they managed it. They managed the ozone possession time, and they executed. The reason why they have a healthy lead. Siegenthaler's taking it from his own end. And a good use of the ball alone! Oh, wow! What a save with the glove! It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Germany's been all over them here in this second period. Just look at the score, and they have dominated in the shot clock, too. Takes the puck. Team Switzerland's looking to break out of their own end. And he turns that one aside. Oh, spectacular save on the play! Still plenty of time left in this frame. Germany's got a little more jump in their step tonight. They lead it 4-1. Taken by Sider. Oh, what a stop! Cahoon's looking to make something happen here in the corner. That's blocked. And he makes the easy save. Switzerland's got possession of the puck. Team Switzerland's got a hold of the puck. Looking for space inside the D zone. Across the line along the left wall. Shot! And that carries off a body in traffic. They go on the attack through center. Germany's got the puck in their own end. Here's a chance! He scores! And Sobot's heating up with his second of the night! Yeah, I expect that he's going to be looking for the Hattie because he's been all around the paint tonight, James, just showing off his skill set. You know it's a hard shot when the goaltender gets a big piece of it, but it still trickles in. touch tonight, Cheryl. Sometimes when you get up in the game, James, it's easy to get complacent and just hold the puck, stop attacking, but not tonight. They're not. The entire bench, the lineup, such an offensive threat. Line one, right through line four. They've been a wave tonight. And he makes the save on that play. Flips it up to net, and that's blocked from someone in front. Played big in the moment there. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. and we are seeing it in full effect. We're only, what, halfway through this game here, period number two? Yeah, it's pretty impressive, isn't it? I mean, the confidence in which the entire lineup is playing with is outstanding. The puck's on their stick, they're working their magic, they're manipulating their opponent, and they're filling the net. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Germany's moving it into the offensive end. Team Switzerland's got a hold of the puck now. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Change up, change up. Fires it, and a great save. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Peter Ryder's the leader of this team, and who do you look to when you're down? You find a way to look to your leaders. They create momentum, everyone jumps on board. This game is not out of reach yet. And he makes the save. Sometimes goaltenders just make it look easy, James. And look at how big he makes himself in the net as he's trying to track and find the puck at all costs. It almost looks easy for him, but that's an impressive save. Germany's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. And he takes the feed. 
takes the shot. And he's able to handle that one. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Team Germany's message was clear coming into this one. Lots of shots on net, and they lead here in this second. Germany's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Denies him! Team Germany's got it behind the net. Here he is in front! You'll need more than that to beat him. entire team has been real lackluster from the beginning of this game. They looked ill-prepared at puck drop, and the only saving grace is they have half a game left to try and claw their way back into it. Team Germany's gained possession along the boards. Takes control of the puck. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Shot! Turned aside with the glove by Nier. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Germany's been dominating at all ends of the ice, especially offensively here late in the second. Team Germany's won the draw and they'll go to work. Oh, and he comes up with a big stop there. And that's blocked in traffic. Oh, what a save! Oh, that doesn't swing the momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. Germany's been the better team tonight, and they lead as a result late in the second. Takes a shot. Denies him on the play. Mayer is giving his team an opportunity to stay in the game. One save after another. He has to be under siege, I and mean, his save percentage says it all. They have to shore up their defense and stop chasing the game. The officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. Team Germany's won it, now they'll go on the attack. He scores! This goal all comes down to winning the faceoff in the offensive zone, James. Everyone knows their responsibility. It's about making sure they get to the spots that they need to get to and get off a quick release shot. Great goal. Have it a night as, as some kids might say, Cheryl. They're balling out there here in period number two. Just loving it out here, James. I mean, they have had control of the play. They've been so dumb and it almost feels effortless. And when it feels effortless, you don't want it to stop. And they've got an intermission looming, and you know they want to stay on the ice. Switzerland's got it in their own zone. And that concludes the second period of play. Still one more period of regulation time. We'll see what happens in the third next. Time to drop the puck here in period number three. Game is not over yet. Let's see if they can try to rally back here in the third, but they've got a long way to go. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? Team Germany's been driving play all game. They sit with a comfortable lead with 20 minutes to go here, and they need to make sure they manage the puck and make smart decisions, and then they can call this one a win. Nobles looks around. Redirected off a stick. Tries to get the puck over to Fiala. Switzerland's in now. Passes it in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Taken along the wall by Sider. Here they come on the attack. Team Switzerland's got control of it now from their own end. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Switzerland's looking to break out. Team Switzerland's got the puck against the boards. Glove save by the goalie. There's the whistle as the puck stopper likes to hang on. Team Germany's played arguably their most complete game of the season based on how they have delivered shots on net and lead here big time in the third. Sturm's quick stick off the draw wins possession. 
Team Germany's ready to go on the attack. Fires it on net. Oh, he denies them with the stick save as it goes off the shaft of the stick. Mayer's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Germany's played one of their best games this season. They continue to dominate in the shot department and lead it here in the third. Hammers the shot! Turns it aside with a glove. The setters will glide into the dot. Team Germany's gonna start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Made the stop on the play. Oh, what another stop! You can certainly tell that the goaltender is dialed in on that last sequence of saves, James. He's to position, so he finds a way to make multiple saves back to back. They are really starting to apply the pressure here in the offensive end. And they'll skate it out of the zone. And another call against the home team, and these fans have. I think they've had enough. They've had enough, and they're booing at the officials and for the players. This is so frustrating. You try and kind of get the temperature of the way the official's going to call the game, and real tough to read when you get three in a row like that. Well, I really like them working off the 1-3-1 sequence that they were successful on earlier, James. It really opens up the ice. So you're using and stretching the entire zone. And listen, there's a lot of ice for the defense to cover. So you can look to the flanks, you can look to the bumper, but a lot of options off of it. Germany's got it along the wall. Oh, save it! What a stop! Wow, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and sending a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Germany's got the puck along the wall. That's not going to fool him. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Kukens' pass was so difficult, James. I mean, he stumbles, so he's off balance, and he's still able to corral the puck and get it off with precision to the shooter. That leads to a great scoring chance. Team Switzerland's got the puck along the boards. Quick feed to Fiala. Gains the zone. Germany's top line has been just that tonight. They've contributed offensively, and there are a reason they're in the lead. Germany's laying up, pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. Germany's got it in their own zone. Takes it into the slot. It's in. He scores. Diamond space in that high slot area. He makes the right choice of selection of shots with that quick snapshot. Pulls it into the feet, disguises the angle, and beats the goalie clean. Team Germany's offense continues to shine here in this third period. Well, this has got to be a dream for a coach. You know that they're telling their team in the intermission to make sure they stay to business, stay to task, stay focused. And that's exactly what they've done, and they just hammered their opponent. Play. I'm not sure where the defense is, but I'll tell you what, the goaltender has been outstanding, made a flurry of saves to keep his team in this one. Team Germany's been going in one direction all night long, and that's to the net, and they lead it in this third. Here's a chance to set up now. There's a great save and an excellent chance there. Face off looming as both centers get into position. Third period. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. 
Hassan. Dismiss that chance. Great reflexes, another save. Now, nah, duty save back there is really owning his crease. Team Germany's not far from the finish line here as they lead it late in this third. Cahoon's won the face off here in the offensive zone. Oh, he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. And there it is, stopped by Mayer. Slick feed. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. Angles it over to Paterka. On the attack along the boards. Quick shot, stopped with ease. That's an incredible save, James. I mean, he's got presence in his crease, and he's also got a great glove hand, and he shows it right there with that save. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Mayer's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Germany's won the faceoff. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. And as we hit the final minute of this one, that has been a So much of the goaltending position is tracking the puck and trying to get the sight lines, James. And with only one player in front, you might lose it for a second. But if you out-battle and out-will the person in front, you're going to find it. Unfortunately, this puck, it beats him clean. Germany's added yet another one here to the total tonight. I mean, what a performance. Yeah, they've had the puck on their stick for a majority of this game. You know the coaching staff is going to be impressed. Hey, maybe they'll get the day off tomorrow. Great pressure with the stick. Takes the pass. Gains the zone from the right. Shot. Locks it down with a stop. I think he got a blocker on that one. Final seconds of this hit, and the home fans certainly appreciate that they got their money's worth tonight. Here's a centering pass. And he denies that great opportunity there. And there it is. Cheryl, you played in multiple World Hockey Championships to have a chance to play for gold. What does it mean? Oh, it's everything, James. I mean, you're representing your country. You're so full of pride. You know, you love your team at this point, and it's been so difficult to get there. It's a real grind. So now it's about finding the energy in the tank and balancing it with the adrenaline that comes in playing your final. And the dream of being world champions comes to an end at one end of the ice, but business continues for this other group. Yeah, it's so tough when you get to these tournaments. They're long there at the end of the season. I've been there at world championships. And you have to be dialed in and bring it at the right moment. That's exactly what's happened for the one side that victorious and moving on. Well, a fun night of hockey comes to an end, but guess what, everybody? There's always next time. And we will see you there. For Cheryl Pounder, I'm James Zabalski. Thanks for playing.